Sports are huge here in Oklahoma, and we are in need right now of high school officials. That's why we've got Jeff A. Murray and David Gore here to share how you can get involved. Thank you so much for joining us. We're glad to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. Any time. So how did you get involved in officiating post high school opportunities, David? I was uh, right out of college and enjoyed sports a lot, but was not going to be able to play a lot more. So uh, umpiring baseball was where I got started mm -hmm. and then got involved in football. Uh, uh, enjoyed it every day since, uh, but uh, it was just to stay involved in sports, even though I wasn't going to play anymore. Mm -hmm. And so in saying that, how do we get more people who are maybe former athletes or people interested in the sport to become officials? Well, that's one of the reasons we're here today is to educate people to get them involved. You know, being an average athlete, Lindsay Oklahoma, I had to get involved somehow. And the coach gave me a whistle to referee a scrimmage in 1983 as a junior, and the rest is history. I've been there ever since. The opportunity has provided me to travel across the country. I mean, the majority of my friends now are all either from my church or my uh, officiating fraternity. So, so friends for a lifetime. It also provides you a nice community and a great way if you watch football or you are a football enthusiast or it doesn't even have to be football, you can still be involved in the, in the game, I should say. And so talk about a little bit the time commitment and the potential initial investment. Well, clearly there is some financial investment simply because of equipment. Uh, but we can help with that. Uh, we can also help with the initial registration fees for brand new officials that are just coming in for the first time. Uh, and usually we are out looking for college age kids because what college kid doesn't need an extra income mm -hmm. for tuition board, whatever the case may be. And uh, this is a great part time uh, situation that they can be involved in and we we look for kids that have played the sport but that's not necessary i mean uh, i didn't play high school football but i officiated football for 35 years enjoyed every minute of it uh, i did play sports in high school but not football so kids that want to continue to be involved but their playing days are over are the ones that we're focused on and would love to visit with them. And if they'll get in touch with us, we will absolutely take care of all what they need to know, what they need to purchase, all of that stuff. We're more than happy to jump at the chance to help them out. And football isn't even the only sport that people have a, or have the opportunity, I should say, to be a part of in this manner. So tell us what other opportunities. Correct. We have volleyball starts in the fall. Uh, they have fall baseball going on with the secondary schools. Uh, basketball officials, their season starts in November. Uh, baseball in the spring, it's a constant move. We have several association members who work two sports. So they're wow. you know, going on the go all the time. Well, you heard it right here. If you have a love for sports, you have a love for kids, and you want to be a part of something greater and get in a community, you can always go and register. You can sign up for the details on the 2023-2024 school year. Head on over to Oklahoma Secondary School Activities Association at OSSA.org arbitersports.com. You can also check the OKC Metro Officials Association at okcmetroofficials.com and the National Association of Sports Officials where they have lots of learning opportunities and information from across the country. Visit them at naso.org.